Okay, let's look, go really quick into a hard reset on this Verizon prepaid smartphone PC L30V 5G. Uh, let's go and power down the phone and remove the Verizon SIM card and external memory card to save some files that you have on the phone. And um, so this is a factor reset. So everything on the phone, internal memory will be deleted, like pictures, videos, contacts, downloaded applications, and things like that. And um, so it is important to know that uh, you may have to need a new SIM card or a SIM card from another uh, phone that you may be using. Uh, you're going you're gonna to need an additional SIM card. After the factory reset, you have to need that new SIM card. Okay, And also, it's important to know your Google account associated with the phone, like email address from Google and a password uh, because after the factory reset you also may have to confirm or verify the um, email address in order to continue and get to the home screen so if you're not able to uh, verify that information uh, your phone might get blocked permanently so be careful with that before doing the hard hard reset all right so let's go and with the phone power off you're gonna press and hold volume down and power key you want to uh, press these two keys at the same time for three to five seconds and when the TCL logo appears release only the power key continue holding volume down when you see a uh, recovery menu with blue letters release the volume down okay when vibrates TCL appears appears release power key continue holding volume down blue letters appears on the screen release the, the the, the volume down key All right using volume up let's go uh, usually you wanna get to reboot system now using volume down highlight wipe data factory reset press power key for enter or ok now volume down press and highlight factory data reset and now uh, to confirm and we already went through that everything is going to be deleted on internal memory phone so if you agree with this and press the power key okay now at the bottom of your screen you're going to see something is working there and uh, when it finish uh, reboot system now uh, now appears on the screen so press um, ball, I mean power key for enter ok and the phone will, will start to reboot okay just give the phone a couple minutes there um, uh, so so it's, it's going to take out your five to ten minutes so be patient just wait for it and when it's ready let's go to the initial setup screen just in case that you get a stack of uh, your screen freezes on verizon or tcl logo just long press the power key and power off basically power off the phone and start over with the same process that we did at the beginning of the video pressing volume down and power key and just follow the prompts okay okay so we are on the initial setup screen and we're gonna uh, get ready to insert our sim card and see what happens there We are on the initial setup screen so let's just uh, touch there and see what languages you can use on the phone uh, select your favorite language and touch to get started started and now terms and conditions accept and continue and now it's asking us to insert the verizon sim card so let's go ahead and insert our verizon uh, sim card that goes like that and make sure it's properly inserted and then sim card is not from verizon wireless but it is from verizon wireless uh, it is active that we are able to make calls and they're not allow us to use wi-fi so insert a verizon sim card to unlock your device and finish and set up okay uh, so uh, let's go now we want to do that so when you're going to use a new sim card to insert it in the phone um 
it could be uh, active another uh, i mean a used sim card that it is also active so you have a friend or relative uh, just have the sim card to uh, insert it on the phone and then um we will go from there okay now we have our new verizon sim card let's put it in and now the phone phone activation is start it's going to take up to 15 minutes so this is a a, a new verizon sim card and you can find it online as well make sure that it's a genuine and clean i'm uh, sim card number or like i said you have a friend or relative or on your household you have a verizon family plan just uh, grab one sim card and put it in and see or oh, oh, hopefully that helps so let us um, give the phone to start searching the activations you thought it's going to take up to 15 minutes so just be patient um, there okay so you're gonna get this message so you don't have to worry about it yeah it says that if you need uh, assistance with your activation just let's call this number to verizon okay so don't worry about this message that this message is actually what we wanted to end up with so let's go and touch restart phone okay Great, so now um, don't worry about any message you want to see here. Just go at the bottom of the screen and touch don't activate. And now you got, we got the, the, the option to exit activation. And now Wi-Fi will be open. We'll search, so select a Wi-Fi to continue. Or you can skip. So now we can, we can skip to uh, Wi-Fi which is another great option um, skip network connection skip continue google services and uh, just go let's go and touch accept every single google services and now you can unlock your phone with uh, fingerprint uh, you can set up your fingerprint or you can skip this step because you, you can do it uh, on phone settings anyways so i don't want to take that much time here skip uh, screen locked with password pattern or pin you also can set up this one from phone settings okay uh, unlock with face face recognition also let's go and skip this step And Verizon services, apps, lo location info is important. Leave OK. And Verizon Cloud, if you have an account, you can pay $5.99 a month. I'm going to skip this step. You can set up this one later as well. So, and my Verizon application to uh, manage your account. Okay, so now we are on the home screen. So, this is great. Um, so, you can. Uh, and actually you know what um this uh, now we're gonna go, go ahead and remove our sim card or temporal sim card and let's go and insert the sim card the one that you have your phone number and the one that you were using on the phone and see what happens insert my um the sim card that it's, it had the phone so let's go in uh try uh, try to call to voicemail Okay. Sorry, your account has no access. This is the Jason Stalter Citizen Ministry Group. Okay. So let's go in, restart our phone one more time. Okay, so um I have the SIM card seated there for about twelve hours or eighteen hours, and after that I insert the SIM card on the phone and it worked so 
um, maybe that's something that you would like to do or if not just you need to activate your phone number to the new sim card and um, it's good to go okay uh, since um, just make sure that your account Verizon prepare account it's active you, you have enough funds to make and receive calls if you found this uh, video tutorial helpful and you would like to leave some tips on the, for this channel uh, you can do it underneath of this video you're gonna find a thanks icon you can leave uh, some tips there but the most important uh, subscribe to the channel uh, leave the like button and don't forget to um, share this video to your social media thanks so much